Hello, this is Max again. Uh, this is my Bible study number 28, um, uh, Matthew. And uh, I did not sleep very good last night. Um, I uh, Sometimes uh, YouTube can be a little bit of an addiction. Um, and I was searching videos about um, the murder of uh, Dr. Tiller. Um, and it just, the hatred, the anger, the murderous rage, the glee at a fellow man's death, a sinful man, uh, no doubt, but we're all sinners. I mean, let he without sin throw the first stone. And definitely not kill. And so, um, uh, this kind of parlays into today's uh, verse that I'm going to discuss. Um, Matthew 7, uh, 15 through 23. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. By the fruit you will recognize them. Do, not, do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown in the fire. Thus, by the fruit you will recognize them. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evil doers. Now, I, one of the things I um, wrestled with was the question, are you a God-fearing man? Um, I personally believe, I used to think uh, fear was a sign of weakness. Um, I also believe that there, that God is your Heavenly Father, and there are three ways that you react and do the will of your Father. One, you do it because you're afraid. You don't want to be spanked. Uh, you don't want to be punished, i.e. you don't want to be sent to hell. Um, two, you do it because you want rewards. You want to be treated better than your brother. Three, you do it because you want to be close to him. You love him, and you want to make him proud. And you don't want to disappoint him. I mean, one of the worst things uh, is when a, when a father like just says, I, I, I'm, I'm disappointing you. It's kind of like you hear and feel their disappointment in the heart, and it really affects you. And I mean, that is, I mean, he, he, he doesn't say... You evil men, you uh, just you're going to be punished you're, for your wick, wickedness. He just says, "I never knew you. Go away from me." And he just turns his back, and I, I don't want that to happen. I mean, I, and that's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of God's disappointment. I'm, I'm afraid of not living up, not being what I should be. And, I mean, some people, some people use, um, like, fruit, say that it's doctrine, it's beliefs. I believe it's more about, more practical, it's life. It's, it's what comes from your life. Whether it is selfishness, whether it is um, help for those less than you, whether it's, like, actually... Um, fruits of living a life for God and for your fellow man, not yourself. Um, and, I mean, I, I believe that God can transform a sinner, a selfish man, to a selfless man, a, to, a repentance. But if, if you accept Christ, but he do, you don't accept, you don't let him transform you, you'll still be a bad tree. And, and, and that's what I think about 
about what happened yesterday. Now, I really... I mean, it's one of the wrestles with judge, judging. I mean, judge, la, uh, judge not lest to be judged. But Paul also says, um, um, in 1 Corinthians, um, that, uh, uh, I mean, 1, one Corinthians, uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 5, 9, I have written you in my letter not to associate with sexual immoral people, not at all meaning the people of this world who are moral, or the greedy and swindlers or idolaters. In that case, you would have to leave the world. But now I'm writing to you that you must not associate with anyone who calls himself a brother, that is sexually immoral, greedy, uh, idol, idolater, or slanderer, or drunkard, or a swindler, which such a man do not eat, do not uh, go to church with, do not commune with. And... And I mean, there is kind of a problem. Um, he, Dr. Tiller, uh, committed uh, uh, abortions, uh, late-term abortions, which I, I don't know the story. I, I believe that if, in the case of that the uh, that the woman and the baby mo most likely would die, I'm I'm empathetic toward that. I mean, I believe that there should be life. Of the mother, um, but still, I mean, be, being an usher, wife in the choir. I mean, I I don't believe abortion is a good food. I believe it's a bad food, and uh, it shows that his life wasn't truly transformed. I mean, he might have been working on it. Um, we don't know, and now we'll never have that chance. Um, but yet, on the other hand, uh, those who say, I'm glad the baby killer is dead, uh, Scott Reeder is the, my hero, um, they're not showing good fruits either. What about Christian love and compassion, faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of love? We judge in love. We judge in, we judge in kindness. We uh, try to beseech to repent and turn from their wicked ways. We don't say, turn, repent, turn from your wicked ways or we'll kill you. Even in abortion, even when... the, the killing of innocent um, preborn life... Um, but I really, I mean, watch, I get YouTube and watching all, all the vitriol and, I mean, like one, uh, the Landover Baptist Church um, had, like, please pray that Mr. Ruda receives a fair trial, which I agree, everyone should receive a fair tri uh, trial, talking about Operation Rescue and, um, it, and I mean, basically, saying that what he did was good. Like, uh, this is uh, one uh, sweet, placid sister, true Christian. Much as I appreciate Rhoda's sacrifice, after all, he has likely given up his own freedom to stop this brutal killing machine. I don't think that could come at a worse time for Operation Rescue and the pro-baby movement. We're pro-life. We're pro-life. And this is why I think sometimes Satan plays both sides against the middle. And advocating death for... Abortionists is not Christian food. Praying for them, I mean, I mean going uh, going to abortion clinic and, and just standing by in silent protest. Um, maybe talking to women as they're going in. Maybe like talking, like if you see doctor, uh, uh, if you see like someone like doctor, tell her why do you do this? Why do you do this? Why don't you see that this is wrong? That is love. That is Christian brotherhood. All this other stuff is not. And so just think, if you're doing this, and if you're doing this, is it fulfilled in the scriptures, what Jesus taught, on the Sermon of the Mount and in other places? If it's not, you might be turned away. Uh, I just want to share that out. Uh, God bless.